Dark codes don't actually read the light lines or the dark lines, they actually read changes in contrast, which is why you often see barcodes in black and white. But if that's the case, how does a barcode like this actually work? Well, this barcode might be difficult for you and I to see, for a monochrome camera with a light source directly next to the sensor, it's actually very easy because of specular and diffuse reflections. If we think of the silver lines here as the can and the white spaces here as the ink, this is what's going to happen next. Light that's emitted from the scanner that then hits the metal portion of the can makes what's called a specular reflection. It goes in and then bounces straight out. Light that comes out from the scanner that then hits the white portion of the can makes a diffuse reflection that then goes out in a bunch of different directions. Because of the law of reflection, the light that hits the shiny metal of the can is actually reflected away from it, making it look dark to the sensor. So if I were to put this bright flashlight behind you to give you the same perspective of the barcode scanner itself, whenever I turn this light on, those metallic lines almost start looking dark. So do barcodes read the light colored bars or the dark colored bars? The answer is both and neither. If you don't have any contrast, you end up with a barcode that looks like a picture of a polar bear in a blizzard.